Hi, I'm Vu Monique Mahu. I'm a senior development engineer here at Selixa, and I'm going to show you our flow loop measurement facility. And I'm going to show you how we can measure flow speeds as well as sound speeds on nine pipe sections simultaneously. But here you can see that we've got flow, single phase water flowing through and splitting into two different pipes. We've got a 278 inch pipe going down all the way and a 4 inch pipe running in parallel. Both these pipes will join together here and the flow will increase and then the pipe will return back to the flow container which contains our pump as well as a compressor at the end outside of the warehouse. We tightly wrap some fiber on uh, each of the pipe sections and we're using the fiber as an array of sensors to track disturbances as they will move inside the pipes. This is a port from which we can inject gas into the flow loop and this will have a direct impact on the sound speeds we will measure. So I'm going to turn it on. So now you can look inside our observation window and see the flow mixture. The fiber from the nine sections is connected to this IDAS from which we're recording the whole entire fiber length. That fiber length is then split into the nine sections we are monitoring and the data transfers onto this processing server from which we're then processing all of the nine sections and displaying the data real time on those screens. As we increase the flow rate, you can now see that all of the nine sections have an increase in the flow speeds. However, our sound speeds remain constant as the flow medium hasn't changed. As we inject some gas, we can see that our sound speeds have dramatically dropped inside all of our nine sections. However, our flow speeds haven't changed as the fluid speed is still the same as before.